Hi, I'm John Cachera and I'm a wandering artist. The Wandering Artists is a great group of people that got together to wander around the streets of New York City with their artwork. It's a great independent movement that brings art to the masses. We're down here on the Lower East Side on Allen Street, and I've got this little piece. Are you getting hungry? They're hot dogs. <laughs> so as artists, artists represent things through their own thoughts. So this is my piece of a hot dog. So enjoy, and enjoy New York City. the movement about maybe nine months ago. I was uh, actually I was in South America, I was in Chile, and I followed them through social media, through Facebook, through Twitter, through Instagram. And a lot of these people here, they're my friends. We're you know, we're colleagues, friends, and I started seeing what they were doing and it, it was really inspiring because it was a very organic movement that started basically out of nothing and saying somebody saying, hey listen, you know what? Let's just take our piece of artwork. Let's take what we do, what we love, and let's just go to galleries. Let's go and let's see what, how, how the art world reacts to us. And I love them about that because you know the art world at, at some point doesn't allow that, but it allowed the movement to do that. And that's why I became part of it because I thought it was great. It was great. It was just like a very organic what art is supposed to do. About a year ago, we started, three of us got together, we wanted to do an art crawl, go to the galleries, check out the galleries that was going on, see what kind of stuff they had. And one of the founders came up with the idea of, you know, walking through the galleries as an art crawl. I came up with the idea, why don't we just bring the paintings along with the art crawl. And that's how it started for three of us in the beginning. And then after that, it just progressed into more people coming with us and showing up for our and then now we're coming up with characters to go with these galleries with the artwork and stuff like that. Art Dangerous was the smart one and said, bring a piece. So we did and from there we were like, well, we're going to walk around, we're going to hit galleries, we're going to make the world our gallery. You know, we just need the people to see our work, that's what it's about. Like, these are our voices and we want our voices to be heard. We don't really feel like the gallery owners are the ones to tell us where we can speak. So we're basically saying, you know, hey, we don't need you. We've got our work. We're going to show it because you guys are the ones that actually count. And you're hearing my voice. I'm the old man of the group. What inspired you to be a part of this group? Well, the Pause Movement. Um, we're a bunch of friends who were hanging out and it sort of just developed naturally and organically. And as new people come into your friends space, you talk about things and things happen. And like uh, Art Danger and, and other members just happened this year. And we said, screw the art galleries, let's take bring art down and walk into each gallery. And if there's 10 or 20 of us, we walk in and it's a movement and they can't say anything. So when you have a bunch of people, it, it, it intimidates other people. So why not walk with our art? So we're the movement, we're the energy, we're the, we're the core of what's going on in, in not just New York, but the world. I do abstract photography and digital collage. So this is a, originally a nature photograph that I manipulated. So I don't want it to look like a photograph. I want people to sort of wonder, what is that? and the color energy is very, very important. I'm in a very positive place right now, and I just want that to come through in my work, and for me, that comes through in color. Mine is more of a lost childhood. This is all the stuff that I've been through in my past. Things that I, when I was a kid, teenager, I never had a good childhood. I was going down the street, hanging out with gangs and stuff like that, so that's pretty much the projection of what my artwork is about. Watercolors just started about a couple months ago, where I decided to work with a medium that I hadn't really touched in like over 20 years. And I started doing these pieces, and I started, this one in particular was more about the selfie, which is like the big thing now, you know, the yeah. selfies and whatnot. So that's where this started. So 
basically I work with all mediums, so I'm, I'm very diverse in my work, and also with all types of um, uh, styles as well. You know, as you know, Art and Dangerous, he likes my abstract, but he's seen that, and I got figured it now, so I, I, I have that diversity that I work with. What makes your art different from any other art? Well, besides being hungry, because these look like hot dogs. <laughs> um, my, my art is just like everybody else's art. Yeah. Color, images, everybody has a slightly different signature. This is one of, I have a bunch of different styles. This is just one that I did for a food show. Yeah. I said, oh, I'll bring that down, because Saturday is hot dogs in New York City. Yeah. So. <laughs> what, you, what kind of art are you really into? Like, what kind of thing? For the longest time, I like pen and ink cartooning. But a couple years ago, I started doing oil on wood, and just the texture and the feel of oil paint on wood really, I indulged that, and I love that. That's where I want to go spend my time. But most of the time, like for this show that we have uh, today, I did a bigger piece, acrylic on canvas. Because it was easy, I could do it quick and, and get it done. So, uh, how many years have you been doing this for? Are well, since I'm <laughs> so old, I've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> message would be do what you love. Basically that's it. Do what you love regardless of age, regardless of gender, and you just do it. You know? Don't get stuck with what somebody tells you what, you what they think what you should do. Do what you love. Because at the end of the day that's what's going to be rewarding. That's what's going to make you happy. So that's my message out there for all the young generation and all the older generation, any generation. Do what you love because at the end of the day that's what's going to make you happy. Do it. You can do it. If you want to do it, just get out there. Don't let anyone tell you you're not good enough, that it's not worth it, that you won't make a lot of money, that you won't be able to pay your bills. Do it. You'll find a way to pay your bills. You'll find a way. It's not easy, but you got to work hard for what you want. Like they said before, the biggest message to kids everywhere is you have to just wake up and do your art. If you want to do tennis shoes, draw on canvas, draw on buildings, draw on anything, or digital art, or make a game, or do whatever, just wake up, do it all the time, and if anybody says, no, that's stupid, don't listen to anybody except yourself, because they're not in your seat. They say, no, you shouldn't go there. You'll miss an opportunity. Opportunities abound, and do it now while you're young. You never, you're not gonna have the chance when you're older. Do it, do it right. Now do it, do it right, do it right now. How does that sound? <laughs>